I don't need some fast cash. See the friendly folks at First Finance in Waco and Temple and arrange for a loan. First Finance will loan anywhere from $30 on up to $280 for signature auto or furniture. Gene Molnix is waiting to serve you at 5 West Central and Temple across from City Hall. R.C. Fred Bridger at 210 South 8 across from the post office in Waco. First Finance, open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.30. Wishing all the area football teams the best of luck. When it comes to quality Phillips products, contact BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy. They offer bulk deliveries of Phillips 66 gasoline, including diesel, and all major brands of oil. Call BP Bostic Oil Distributor at 859-5820 in Eddy. Plus, you'll receive friendly service and quality Phillips gasoline at Hargrove Central Station of Eddy and Danny's Service Station of Lorena. Both offer competitive prices along with minor automotive repair. BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy, backing the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. It was a busy year for Bully Hayes and the Reverend Nate. They met a queen and had dinner with a king. They fell off a bridge, took to the air, and took on the German Navy. Fire! Down! Have the time of your life with Nate and Hayes. You're going to like it. Rated PG. Now showing at the Flint Cinema in Waco. Check newspaper for times. Let's visit Trails End Ranch and Campground at Bruceville, Texas. What is your favorite activity at Trails End? Flying horses. Swimming with my friends. Picnic and cookouts. I like walking in the woods. They're beautiful. We have family get-togethers at the clubhouse. I love wading in the creek. Oh, just give me a nap under a shade tree. It's fun for all ages at Trails End, Bruceville, Texas. It's one mile east of Interstate 35, halfway between Temple and Waco. Every Tuesday is Shrimp Day at the Twin Caboose. You get $2 off the regular price on our all-you-can-eat shrimp entrees. Includes popcorn, boiled, or fried shrimp. Come on, shrimp lovers, to Twin Caboose on the Loop Temple. Dale Caffey along with Butch Henry back at Jack C.A. Stadium near Austin, where the Bruceville Eddie Eagles now have a commanding 25 to nothing lead over their by district opponents, the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors. And Butch, you hate to start singing Willie Nelson song this quick, but... Uh, you may have to before the night's out. What was that drive? That was one of those drives that all coaches like to have. That was a two-play, five-yard drive, topped off by the quarterback sneak from the quarterback, Robert McKee, and uh, it does give the Eagles a demanding lead. And it's, uh, I, I'd like to thank the people from, uh, from uh, Hayes High School for uh, you know, really treating us right. They have a nice facility, well-lit field, and the uh, first time I've ever been to Buda, Texas. This kickoff comes down to uh -oh. Stevenson. It's going to be a reverse play, and Alvin Leonard has the ball, and Leonard has an open field ahead of him. He's at the 35, and I believe Alvin Leonard's going to go in for the touchdown. That's going to be about a 90-yard touchdown return. I see no flags on the field. A well-executed reverse play on the kickoff as Bobby Stevenson fielded that ball. Handed off to Alvin Leonard coming around, and Leonard scampers about 90 yards for a touchdown. And all of a sudden, it's 25 to 6. One after the cup. And that really excited the crowd over here on the home half of the stadium, which is England. Right, I told you I wasn't going to start singing that song. It's a little bit too early in it. I don't know if we have another look at that or not, but it was just a reverse play that had a wall set up, and I knew as soon as Leonard got the ball, that's why I hollered, uh oh, because. Uh, I knew they were in trouble, and uh, Daryl Hogan had a shot at him, but he just cut back against the grain, and so they'll be going for two points now, Dale. Randy Johns put wide to the left side, Stevenson to the right side with the eye formation in the backfield, and this time the look-in pass intended for Randy John, but broken up there by number 33, Kevin Williams. No good. Now we have 33 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play, and our new score now, Bruce Letty 25, Ingram, Tom Moore 6. I believe Raymond Britton tells me we do have a replay on that kickoff return on the regular angle. I want you to watch Evan Leonard. He, he will take the handoff right there, come to the right. Most of the Bruce Lady players went to the other side of the field. And you'll watch number 10 right here. Daryl Hogan had a shot at him. Missed him. You see right there, there's another shot at him by number 33 for Bruce Lady. That was Kevin Williams. And then it's just a foot race. And I, I kept saying all night, that sooner or later, that Evan Leonard was going to break the big one. And it just... He knew it was going to happen, and it just matter of time. And 
I'll tell you what, that, uh, that can put a lot of uh, momentum back in the football game. In 33 more seconds, uh, Ingram will have the win, and uh, who knows? A lot can happen. Number 32, Pete Telford has the ball on the tee. He will be kicking deep to Robert McKee and Rusty Hunter for the Bruce Valetti Eagles, and also back there, the third man deep, Kevin Williams. But once again underway, it's a high kick. Once again, it hits that wind and goes nowhere. It's going to be fielded and fumbled on the play. Darren Griffin tried to field the ball. It went right through his arms, and I do believe that Bruce Valetti has retained possession. They'll have the ball first and 10 from their own 27-yard line. And they may not be able because there's all sides against Ingram. Now, whether or not they will uh, take the ball there or have him kick it over, I don't know. But the, I would imagine they would take the ball there, but that's not too bad of a field position, but we'll see. And I, as always, I'm usually wrong. They are going to kick again. You always have a 50-50 chance on a deal like that. <laughs> and I'm bad about the zero tonight. Well, once again, Butch, uh, the five yards further back, and of course he's kicking against the stiff breeze and probably can get a little bit better field position. Of course, you also stand the risk of something like that happening, the ball turning over to Ingram. Well, that's right. And, uh, I think Bruce Lady was very fortunate at that time that they did get the football back because that could have proved disaster and the, the Warriors already have a little bit of momentum going in. So I love for Bruce Lady. They need to get the football now and put together some long sustained drive and eat up some time on the clock and the, try to get some points out of it if they can because Ingram is only right now 17 points. That's wrong. <laughs> 19 points behind. So they're going to have to score twice, go for two, make it both times, plus probably a field goal. This time it's a high kick. Comes down to McKee. McKee at his own 15-yard line. Brian will get around it. He was at the 20. Gets out to the bounds at about the 25-yard line. Terry Witt forcing him out of bounds at that point. First and 10 now for Bruceville. Eddie at their own 26-yard line. 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dale, there's a great block that time for Bruce Lady number 74. I do not have his number. It, it, one time that was Anthony Johnson, but it's not tonight because he's number 12. You know who it is. Okay, I, we do not have the young man's number, but I tell you, whoever you are, number 74, you made one heck of a block on that kickoff. Return. I'm sorry, Butch, I didn't have it marked on mine either. Rusty Hunter in motion. The quarterback sneak, Robert McKee, and watch McKee. McKee's at the 40, and I don't believe there's anybody on the field who can catch McKee. Quarterback sneak once again. An absence of a nose guard somewhere or other. I see no flags on the field. It looks like about a 70-yard touchdown return. Looked like a 75-yard touchdown run by quarterback Robert McKee on the quarterback sneak. Well, officially, it was a 74-yard run. Is that the uh, line of scrimmage? Was it the 26 yard line? And I said earlier, when you don't have a nose guard, sometimes it sure makes that quarterback sneak look inviting. They've done it on the extra points. To, Night on the goal line, and uh, I don't know if we get a replay later. That may be the longest quarterback sneak run in history. Paul Tilly will attempt to make it 32 to nothing. He gets his foot into it. It's through the uprights, and it is good. With 18 seconds remaining in the third quarter, our score now is 32 for Bruceville Eddie and six for Ingram Tom Moore. Uh, here's a reverse angle replay on the quarterback sneak this time by Robert McKee, and you just see he just takes off up the middle. He goes untouched in the. Uh, it's a foot race, and no one catches it, and uh, I don't know. Maybe there was a breakdown somewhere because it should have been a linebacker or somebody there supporting, but uh, it's a plain old quarterback sneak, and there's some of the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors uh, saying hi, Mom, and uh, maybe they don't know the Bruce Lady just scored because they sure looked happy. Butch, it was less than a minute on the clock. Nobody had scored in the third quarter, and now we have 18 seconds remaining, and 20 points have been scored. They're picking them off at a pretty good clip right now. I believe that is, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I know that's the longest quarterback sneak that I've ever seen in my few years that I've watched football. And I've seen some quarterback draw plays go for a long way, but not a quarterback. I bet they didn't run them that far at Thorndale, did they? We've had some almost that far, I'm sure. <laughs> Once again, back underway. And this kick is going to elude everybody and go in and out of the end zone for a touchback. And that kick just didn't want to be fielded. But Henry, first and 10 for Ingram with their own 20. And 
and they have 18 seconds to try to score some more points in this third quarter. I'll tell you what, I always, I guess I see, I spot out on different things, but the fishing had to still throw his bean bag. What for, I don't know, but he threw it. The wind caught it. He didn't even go six inches to pick it up, and he threw it again. But uh, I don't know why he was throwing it, because the ball was not touched, and it had been a touchback. So I, I feel like we'll see some more scoring before the night's over. Ball resting at the 20-yard line. Ingram with the ball first and 10, trailing 32 to 6 now in the third quarter. This might be the last play of the third quarter. You never can tell. 18 seconds remaining on the clock. And deciding to keep the ball this time, Brian Thompson. Thompson picks up about three or four yards on the play. Brought down by Tim Moore. Clock's going to expire now in the third quarter. And we are now at the end of the third quarter of play, and we'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment with our score, Bruce Eddy, 32, Ingram, 6. White's Home and Auto Store in Moody. Enjoy this season's playoff action on a new television from White's Home and Auto. Check out the large selection of appliances. And for you do-it-yourselfers, White's has a complete hardware department. Have your tires seen a better day? White's can fix you up with a new set of tires at a price you'll love. Winter is upon us, and for these cold mornings ahead, you'll need a dependable battery that'll start your car quick and easy. White's has a new car battery for you. White's Home and Auto Store across from the post office in downtown Moody. Also, support the Bruceville Eddy Eagles in the playoffs. Mike Simons Ministries presents World of Faith International. World of Faith is a world ministry and faith teaching center with 24-hour prayer and counseling. Services on Sunday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. And be sure to watch 60 minutes of singing and faith teaching every Sunday night at 12.30 with Pastor Mike Simons on KCEN-TV Channel 6. If ye have faith, nothing shall be impossible unto you. World of Faith International, 3121 Spate, Waco. Or call their 24-hour prayer line at 755-0191. Moody Drug and Variety, established in 1881, the oldest pharmacy in Central Texas. That means you get years of experience combined with modern methods. Moody Drug and Variety has a large selection of toys, Hallmark cards, Russell Stover candies, vitamins, school supplies, sewing needs, gifts, and even an old-time soda fountain, plus all your pharmacy supplies and needs. Visit the friendly people at Moody Drug and Variety, 500 Avenue E in downtown Moody, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. CCC Trenching Service is locally owned and operated by John, Stephen, and Matt Cast, specializing in utility trenching, road boring, and backhoe service in Falls, Bell, and McLennan County areas. They proudly support the Bruce Valetti Eagles in their efforts in the Class A playoffs. CCC Trenching would like to encourage all the citizens of Bruce Valetti to support the Eagles in all their playoff games. CCC Trenching Service would like to say thank you to KCEN-TV for their continuous support of all sports activities. And remember, if you need any trenching or backhoe excavation, call CCC Trenching at 859-5464. Amazing Blue Star Ointment stops itching fast. Jock itch, ringworm, tetter, psoriasis stops itching fast. Blue Star Ointment. The one that's guaranteed. Welcome back to beautiful Jack D.A. Stadium near Austin, Texas. Back at the tile, I'm told. There's our press box, as you see, a colorful press box, home of the Jack D. Hayes High School Rebels. That shot coming from Jake Benini. That's yeah, looking like that. Yeah. I know there's somebody else on the board. That's hard. It looked like he was hiding from me. Meanwhile, back on the field on first down, quarterback Brian Thompson, rather on second down. Brian Thompson brought down for a loss on the play. It'll be third down at about nine. Our score now as we begin the fourth quarter of play, Bruce Belletti 32, Ingram 6. Who did you say we are? What, what is this thing? Well, I'm told it's near Kyle, and of course also near what? Oh, then we're really, really not in a city as such. It's just kind of a midway point between the two. That's why they call it Hayes and South Hayes. Oh, I got it. <laughs> you catch on rather quickly. Yes, I didn't come on a block of wood. But. Bobby Stevens split wide to the right side. Thompson wants to pass. Has plenty of time. His pass is going to be intercepted. Kevin Williams with the ball and Williams is still on his feet. Williams is looking at the end zone. He's down at about the two yard line. Just two yards shy of returning that interception for a touchdown, number 33, Kevin Williams. 
see what that was. He saw that play coming. They were trying to hit Alvin Leonard coming out of the backfield. Let's have a, how about a regular angle replay? Here it is right there. You see Thompson going back to pass and from nowhere there's Kevin Williamson. And he sure wanted to try to get in for the six points. And he got it down to the lip of the cup and uh, like there's a young man injured there for uh, Hayes, for Hayes and Sade. See how funny it mixed up for Ingram. And, uh, here we go, Bill. Bumble on the snap. But Robert McKee falls on the bumble snap, and it'll be second down and goal from the three. You think they will come back now to try a quarterback sneak, or do you think they will this time will probably, I think they'll probably put a man over that center to uh, eliminate that quarterback sneak, because they've had about 80 or 85 yards just on that than that. Robert McKee has scored four times on the quarterback sneak, three from about three yards away, and one from about 70 five yards away. This time Anthony Johnson gets the call and Johnson's brought down just shy of the goal line. No indication now to whether it's a touchdown. Johnson appears to be injured on the play. Possibly a cramp, possibly the air knocked out of it. We hope he's okay. Did you see the shot that we had right before the snap by Jake Sinini? He must have been laying down uh, on the ground because it was an unusual shot. And there's a look at the Bruce Valetti cheerleaders and the Ingram Tom Moore cheerleaders as their own uh, on the home side right now, on Ingram's side, and they're introducing it to them dance together. And that shows good sportsmanship. Ten minutes, eight seconds remaining in our ball game. Anthony Johnson is all right. He's being helped off, or rather he's going off the sideline under his own strength. Good to see him up and running again. Anthony Johnson ordinarily a tackle for this Bruceville Eddy offense and has done a superb job tonight from the fullback position. He certainly has that. He's run real well. There's a look at uh, that. must be some young lady from Bush Lady. I can shoot a few pictures. Third and goal. The handoff to Rusty Hunter. Hunter in for the score. Touchdown, Bruceville Eddy. Bruceville Eddy has put six more points on the board. They now lead it 38 to 6. The point after to come. It was a three play, three yard drive. And the one prior to that, the last touchdown Bruce Lady was a one-play 74-yard drive, all coming over the quarterback sneak. That touchdown, of course, set up by the fine interception and return by Kevin Williams. A point after try here. The flags on the play, movement appearing to be on the Bruce Paletti side of the line. The legal procedure is your call. And they'll be set back five yards, and they'll try it again. They gave the old McKen Henry an opportunity to uh, use his camera again tonight for the end zone shot, and I assume they'll try to kick it again, even though they did have a five-yard penalty. Kevin Williams will attempt to make it 39-6. to six. Hunter has the ball down. Williams gets his foot into it. It is good. Our score with 9.54 remaining in the game. Bruce Villetti, 39, Ingram, 6. We'll be back with the rest of the ball game in just a moment. Can't you take it? I'm starved. How about a pizza? Cheap dish? Mr. Daddy. Cheap dish pizza. Wow, that's thick crust. Mm, and all those toppings. Now that's cheap dish. Mr. Daddy sure can't deep dish it out. Can't you take it? Split it with you. Watch your favorite team on our big screen TV. Texas, here come the new Texas Lariat from Ford. Full size or Ranger size, both come with free air conditioning. And Ford builds them Texas tough. They come specially equipped and wear a Texas badge. They're just for Texas. Supplies are limited and they're moving out fast. Hurry, see your Texas Ford deal. There's nothing like free Texas air. If you're looking for a new, exciting hairstyle to give your total look a boost, trust the professionals at the Uppercut. Arlen, Margie, Jim, and Marcella are eager to give you an individual look. They offer creative hairstyling from shampoos, cuts, and blow dries to the most professional perms and color. The Uppercut, conveniently located in the Central Texas Tower at 5400 Bosque in Waco, across from Lake Air Mall and next to the new HEB. For the look you want, see the people who have innovative, exciting ideas. The people at the Uppercut, backing the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. 
CCC Trenching Service is locally owned and operated by John, Stephen, and Matt Cast, specializing in utility trenching, road boring, and backhoe service in Falls, Bell, and McLennan County areas. They proudly support the Bruce Belletti Eagles in their efforts in the Class A playoffs. CCC Trenching would like to encourage all the citizens of Bruce Belletti to support the Eagles in all their playoff games. CCC Trenching Service would like to say thank you to KCEN-TV for their continuous support of all sports activities. And remember, if you need any trenching or backhoe excavation, call CCC Trenching at 859-5464. Dale Caffey along with Butch Henry welcome you, welcoming you back to this by district football game. There's a good look at Bruce Belletti band and got the prime time going. They're, they're fired up now. They, they can uh, sense the victory and know that they'll be moving on up to the playoff level. They have this game in the palm of their hands, Butch Henry, right now, 39-6. Less than 10 minutes left to play. And right now for the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors, it's just uh, playing for pride. That's all you can do, but to, for a school that's only four years old, uh, just uh, getting to the playoffs is something. And, uh, and Coach Rackley, they will develop a good program down there. They, they will be competitive. This kickoff's going to come down to Kevin Williams at his own 35. Williams still on his feet, trying to round the corner. He's at the 40, the 45, and brought down at the 47-yard line. Rusty Hunter in on the stop for Bruce Belletti. It'll be first and 10 for Ingram at that point. Dale, I don't want to correct you, but Kevin Williams plays for Bruce Belletti. That young man was number 32 for Ingram. That was Gary Wilson. Looking at the wrong program once again, but Henry and... Uh, they ought to make those things different colors. You know it? I guess so. Pardon me, Kevin Williams, and also pardon me, Gary Wilson. First and 10, here come the Warriors. This first time that we've seen Alvin Leonard split out in this formation. He's about to just take off and try to go for the bomb. This time, a spot pass intended for Leonard overthrown. Quarterback Brian Thompson, you can tell, is upset with himself as you take a look at the Bruceville Eddy cheerleaders. Well, I don't know whether you saw it or not, the, the big number 90, Alan Trigg, 240 pound senior for Bruce Eddy, as soon as Brian Thompson released that ball, I mean, he really put a lick on him, so uh, O'Brien will be looking both ways next time. Second down and 10, same formation, Arch Graham and Alvin Leonard, this time Leonard catches the ball, they come back with the same play once again. Leonard catches the ball this time. He has some blocking in front of him. Picks up about eight yards on the play. It'll be second down and two as Robert McKee comes up quickly to make the stop. Kind of surprising to see them come back with the same exact play. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Who said that? Lady selling glasses or something. I don't know. I, I don't need a pair right now. Do you, Dale? I said, our papers just blew again. I think we think we're in the information booth or something right here. I don't know. <laughs> Bobby Stevenson split wide to the right side. Thompson wants to pass again, gets his pass away, and it's incomplete, almost intercepted by Rusty Hunter. That pass intended for Trey Witten. But Hunter there almost intercepting the ball, breaking it up at any rate. It'll be fourth down and about three. I'm sure they're going to go for it, don't you, Dale, instead of try to punt? I would imagine so, Butch. 8.59 remaining in our ball game. And there is a timeout on the field as Ingram decides to call timeout. And with our score, Bruce Belletti 39, Ingram 6. We'll take a timeout here in the booth also. Ethan Allen, American Traditional Design with you in mind, is having a Sunday sale, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Edwards Carriage House at Ethan Allen Gallery, Highway 84 at the States Drive in Waco. Hargrove Central Station Eddie is now under new ownership and ready to serve you better than ever before. Hargrove Central Station carries regular and unleaded gasoline. Plus, they'll fix flats and do minor mechanical work. You'll be pleasantly surprised by their friendly service. Hargrove Central Station even does windows. New owners Raymond and Lucy Hargrove are eager to serve you. So go by and see Tim Hargrove and Terry Rogers at Hargrove Central Station, soon to be a full service station. Open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on FM 107 in downtown Eddie. Hargrove Central Station wishing good luck to the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. 
Stop by Miracle's Food Store in Eddie or Mini Max and Moody and take advantage of the big savings. TV brand U.S. grade Tom Turkey, 20 pounds and up, only 49 cents a pound. Delicious Blue Bell ice cream, a low 2.59 a half gallon. Two liter bottles of Dr. Pepper, 87 cents each. Fresh celery, 38 cents a stock. Every day is a special day of savings at the Mini Max and Moody or Miracle's Food Store in Eddie. While shopping, check out the fresh, crisp produce section or the always top quality selection of meat from the meat market. Miracle's Food Store in Eddie and Mini Max and Moody wishing the Eagles the best of luck. Now's the time to make sure your heater is in tip-top shape for the cold months to come. And here in the Central Texas area, you can count on Centex Heat and Air in Eddie. You'll receive the most professional service and sales on your heating and cooling units. Plus, Syntax Heat and Air does general sheet metal. It doesn't matter if you need work done at your home or business. Syntax Heat and Air is ready to serve you. Give them a call at 859-5970 or 859-5377. That's Syntax Heat and Air in Eddie. Wishing the best of luck to the Bruceful Eddie Eagles in the playoffs. Get ready for the best. The Twin is arriving. is waiting to take you away from it all with the best steak and seafood this side of the Santa Fe Trail. Not to mention the famous Twin Caboose Soup and Salad Bar. All aboard the Twin Caboose on the Loop and Temple. The Twin Caboose is just waiting to take you away. Welcome back to Jack C. Hayes Stadium. Bruce Galetti with a commanding 39-6 lead over Ingram in this fine district football game. Only factor remaining now is the remaining eight minutes and 59 seconds remaining on the clock. And uh, Bruce Valetti will advance to the area of competition. I believe what I understand, they will probably be playing down around the San Antonio area next week. The opponent force is uh, still undetermined. As of when we're doing this game, when it is replayed, it will be determined. Back on the field, fourth down and three for Ingram. This time, the pass intended for Alvin Leonard, incomplete, and Bruceville Eddy will take over first and 10 from about the 46-yard line. That was a play that they had had success with earlier, but it just uh, didn't work that time. Once again, I want to thank our crew. They've, they have done a great, great job tonight. Let's good look at some of the Ingram coach in the box and uh, he's got a little headset on and uh, there's not much you can do right now but I'd like to thank the production assistants James French on cameras tonight Pat Hargis, Rick Dutton Cake, Ben Denning Leo, McHenry and Ken Smith, audio Ronnie Mayhem, Insta Replay, Mike Hugo, technical support Lou Scroger, director producer Raymond Brenton, statistician Keith Henry and spotter Kelly Henry. On first and ten Anthony Johnson gets the call. Johnson up near midfield a gain of about three yards on the play. Make that a gain of four yards. It'll be second down and six. I'm sure Bruce Lady will, all they want to do now is just keep the ball on the ground and uh, try to run off some clock. And tonight, Rusty Hunter has picked up a 101 yards on 13 carries. And Anthony Johnson has 95 yards on 17 carries. I'd like to see Anthony get five more. This time, Rusty Hunter with the call, and Hunter. Spinning around, gets up to about the 45-yard line of Ingram. Going to be just a little bit shy of the first down. It'll be third down and one. Bobby Stevenson is there to make the stop. I tell you what, it'd be a great thrill for Anthony Johnson to uh, go from a tackle to, to running back and pick up 100 yards rushing. He's only five yards shy, and I, and I really would like to see him get it. That would give him two young men tonight, over 100 yards for the Bruce Lady Eagles. On third down and short, motion. I believe the left guard for Bruce Valetti jumped just a bit. It's going to be a penalty. Mark him back five yards. It'll be third down and six. And with his yardage production tonight, Rusty Hunter has surpassed the 1,350 mark. Quite a season for that young man. It certainly is, Dale, isn't it? Looks more and more like we'll be doing a post-game show in the victorious and happy to Bruce Lady special room following the game. Looking forward to it. Certainly am. Third down and six. In motion, Rusty Hunter. The pitch to Rusty Hunter. Hunter up across the 50, inside the 50-yard line 
of Ingram brought down at about the 47. It's going to be fourth down and two. Bobby Stevenson once again on the stop. And you really have to wonder here, Butch. Uh, I know there's not that many, being a Class A football team, not that many spares on the sideline, but I kind of want to save Rusty Hunters and my Anthony Johnson for the next game coming out. I would too, and I believe after they, uh, after this next possession, when they get the ball back, you'll probably see some wholesale changes for Coach Bill Hunter and his staff to let all the kids get in the playoff game. Kevin Williams in to do the punting. He spun the low kick, but it takes a Bruce Villetti bounce. In fact, that was probably the best kind of kick, being the stiff win. And when we come back, Ingram will have the ball once again. First and 10 from their own 17-yard line. We'll be back with that right after this. A lot of folks have learned that Moody Furniture is the place to go for the finest in furniture values at the lowest prices. At Moody Furniture, you'll find the name brands you know, such as American Drew, Riverside, Dixie, Serta, just to name a few. But you won't find high prices to cover the costs of fancy displays and expensive buildings. Moody Furniture offers the most convenient terms with approved credit and Visa MasterCard. So take the short drive from Waco or Temple to Moody Furniture and see the four huge showrooms of fine furniture. Some folks like it so much, they want to stay. Moody Furniture on Highway 317. If you have some type of property to sell, you owe it to yourself to call Joe Frerick of Joe Frerick Auction Service. They handle farm and ranch dispersal and can help you sell tractors or any other type of farm equipment. Or if you have a business going out of business, Joe Frerick Auction Service is ready to help. They also handle antique and estate sales. Think about it. What would you rather have? One person making an offer on your property or many bidding to get it? Call Joe Frerick Auction Service, 817-853-2738 in Eddy, Texas. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Stop by the First National Bank of Moody, a country bank large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. First National Bank of Moody, established in 1892 with beautiful marble walls and bronze bars, a step into the days of the Old West. Our friendly staff has the experience and know-how to provide all your banking needs. Buy a new home or car, see Moody Bank. Extra cash, a savings account, or an IRA, see Moody Bank. The First National Bank of Moody, on the corner of 7th and Avenue D, downtown Moody, member FDIC, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. For your life, auto, business, and home insurance needs, see Waco Insurance Agency in Hewitt. Regardless of how big or how small, Waco Insurance Agency has the policy to fill your needs with fast, friendly, personal service. Being an independent insurance agency, Waco Insurance can give you the best possible coverage at the lowest possible premiums. Call or come by today. Waco Insurance Agency, 205 Panther Way in Hewitt. Class A by district football. Bruce Villetti leading Ingram 39 to 6. Dale Caffey along with Butch Henry. With about eight, six minutes and 44 seconds left on, on our clock. Ingram with the ball first and 10. Alvin Leonard with the pitch out. Leonard still on his feet, and Leonard has some speed. He's turned the corner, and Leonard's going to be stopped at about the 45-yard line of Bruceville. Eddie. It's like a hanky on the play back around the about the 26-yard line, so I don't know if it'll be clipping or illegal use of the hand. Apparently will be against the offensive unit of Ingram. Another look on the reverse angle replay. You see, you see Leonard coming around. I did not see a penalty happen to him. He's got, got good speed, got back there, nearly went all the way, but it wasn't in fraction. I did not see, but that's the kind of play that you can very easily have a clip on, uh, on that type of sweep. But we'll wait to see what referee Bob Knucker has to say. He'll probably give us some hand signals over here. And it's one of those old, I don't know if it's such a big penalty or not. It looks like only about five yards is that half the distance. Still. No, that's a five-yard penalty. It must be illegal use of the hand. Let's see if we can see. No, it was clipping. Let me see. That does not go from the line of scrimmage. That goes from the point of the foul, correct? Okay. It is a major penalty. Talked off from the point of the foul, which was the 26-yard line, which would move it back to about the 13, right? Really a shame for Alvin Leonard. He's a fantastic athlete. He showed us a lot of skill tonight. And with that run, he would have come close to the 100-yard mark, but it was not to be. First down and 15. When it rains, it pours. Then. Bobby Stevenson split wide to the left side. He's got the salt commercial. This time, Alvin Leonard fumbled the pitch in the backfield, but he retains possession. I thought it was a weather forecast. And lost two more yards on the play. It'll be second down and about 17. 
Bruce the lady, lady's down there doing the little uh, dance. Look at that. That looks like a cotton eye Joe to me. In fact, that is a cotton eye Joe. They do a little fancier than I do, but uh, that's not the cat, cotton eye Joe when I'd eat my hat if I had one of You think those cotton eye Joe developed a little bit after your time, but Henry? I don't know so much about that. When was my time, anyway? <laughs> I guess you could still learn it. I don't know if you could move like that, but flip to the left side is Bobby Stevenson. And on second down and 17, back to pass is Thompson looking for his receiver and throws it and intercepted by number 74. Anthony, uh, well, we think it's, it's not Anthony Johnson. Johnson ordinary wears the 74 jersey, and once again, we apologize to Coach Bill Hunter, and especially to number 74 for the Bruce Valletti Eagles. We did not get the updated roster on who would be wearing Anthony Johnson's ordinary number. I tell you what, whoever he is, not only did he intercept that play tonight, he made one heck of a block earlier. I tell you what, Dale will be back for the score. Bruce Lady 39, Ingham Tom Moore 6, right after these messages. When it comes to quality Phillips products, contact BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy. They offer bulk deliveries of Phillips 66 gasoline, including diesel, and all major brands of oil. Call BP Bostic Oil Distributor at 859-5820 in Eddy. Plus, you'll receive friendly service and quality Phillips gasoline at Hargrove Central Station of Eddy and Danny's Service Station of Lorena. Both offer competitive prices along with minor automotive repair. BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy, backing the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. Coming home after a hard day's work is a wonderful feeling, and it's so nice to come home to a home built by Jim Bob Builders of Eddie. Jim Bob Builders will custom build a beautiful home of your dreams. They put up national homes, and you can count on Jim Bob Builders to only use the best building materials. Plus, a Jim Bob home is reasonably priced. The beauty and design of a home by Jim Bob Builders is a home to be proud of, one you will enjoy for a long, long time. Give Robert Clemens a call at 772-4515 in Eddie. Jim Bob Builders backing the Bruceville Eddy Eagles. Everybody talks about high interest rates. Well, Ford Tractor's doing something about it. Ford Tractor now offers low annual percentage rate financing on its great line of Series 10 tractors. How low? Just eight and three quarter percent, that's how low. Yes, sir, eight and three quarter fixed rate financing for up to four full years. Offer ends November 30th and certain restrictions apply. Here's where to get the details. Get your details on money-saving 8 and 3 quarter Ford financing at Temple Ford Tractor, your Ford Tractor dealer in Bell County. The American Brahmin has the dominant role in the world's beef industry. It has a worldwide demand covering 46 states and 36 foreign countries. Crossbreeding is spreading Brahmin influence rapidly. Feeders are demanding at least quarter bloods and pay premiums for half bloods. The Brahmin Journal is the official publication for Brahmin and Brahmin Cross Cattle. It stretches from the home office in Eddy to all of the states and foreign countries. For information on the money-making cross for today, tomorrow, and all tomorrows to come, call us at the office. Welcome back to Jack C. Hayes Stadium. Butch Henry and Dale Caffey here to bring you this game between the Bruce Valletti Eagles and the Ingram Warriors. And we understand that Tim Myers is wearing the number 74 jersey. He's the young man who just intercepted that Brian Thompson pass. And I tell you, earlier, earlier when we did not know his number, he threw an excellent block, so that young man's having a good game tonight. First and goal for Bruceville Eddy. This time to give through the middle to number 22, Michael Frosch. And now we do see that uh, Coach Bill Hunter is substituting. He's saving his Rusty Hunter and his Anthony Johnson and his Kevin Williams for next week's game. And rightfully so. In the backfield also now for Bruceville, Bruceville Eddie Clifford Caldwell. He's wearing the number 20 jersey and number 40 in motion is Jamie Johnson. Getting the call that time, number 20 Clifford Caldwell. Caldwell approaching the goal line. He's short of it by about a couple of yards. It's gonna be third and goal from about the two. I don't believe that uh, the young man Anthony Johnson will get his 100 yards in that because uh, it looks to me like he might be through for the night. Daryl Hogan split wide to the right side, the I formation in the backfield. And this time, quarterback Paul Tilly with the keeper. 
Chile getting closer and closer to the goal line. He's at about the one yard line now. I hope you take a look at Jake Bennett and he talked about the guy sitting down on the job. With it, but the picture's worth a thousand words and there he is. He's just taking it easy. And I believe we're going to have a field goal attempt here, Butch. Number 33, Kevin Williams, is in to try this field goal of about 20 yards. The ball will be placed at about the 10-yard line. Well, Leo may get in on this action. There he Robert is. Robert McKee has the ball down. It's up. And the kick is good. Kevin Williams makes good on a 20-yard field goal. And now our score with 3.39 remaining in the ball game. Rookie 42 and Ingram 6. So I'm going to have to congratulate the uh, Head coach Bill Hunter and his staff once again, Robert Doody, Jim Miller, and Tim Vanson for doing a good job of having their kids ready to play tonight because uh, they really come out. I've been impressed with the first time that I've seen Bruce Lady play in two years. So they have a good football team. Uh, they're very versatile. They run out a lot of different sets, and uh, they just do a good job. They have only lost two season games. They lost their opener to the Moody Bearcats and then forced the game to Vermont. So, uh, They've had a good season, and I tell you what, it may, it may last a few more weeks the way it looks right now. And if it gets past next week, of course, we may be seeing a rematch between the number one Fremont Tigers and the Bruce Valetti Eagles. Gosh, that, that, that'd be a dandy. Oh, it certainly would. That game will probably be played somewhere, Belton, Midway Stadium, somewhere like that. Kevin Williams get his, gets his foot into it, and Alvin Leonard turning the kickoff. He's at the 20-yard line, the 30 to the 35. Brought down there by two or three Bruce Valetti Eagles. As we attempt to spot the numbers for you there, number 74. And we said it was Tim Meyer. And he was there with a couple others and it's going to be first and 10 for Ingram at their own 36-yard line. 331 left in our ball game tonight. Don't forget the post-game show coming up. We'll be over talking to Coach Bill Hunter of the Bruce Valetti Eagles and a couple of the ball players. Get their view of the game. Was number 74 Tim Myers and number 42 Tim Myers the same person or is that two different people? Uh, from what I understand uh, on defense, Tim Meyer is the same person as 42, and he's just wearing the 74. That's what I understand. I hope it's right, or I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of people upset at it. First and 10, Ingram, quick pitch. Number 42, John Gilbert with the ball. Gilbert across the 40 and finally wrestled down there by Kevin Williams. Williams had some help from Tim Moore. Gain of about five yards on the play. It'll be second down and five. So now we see that uh, Coach Tucker Rackley letting his man have the playing time also. I think the best thing about number 22, Alvin Leonard for Ingram, as far as Coach Tucker Rackley is concerned, is he is only a junior and will be back next year. That young man uh, has a lot of potential. He can, uh, he's a game breaker. This time, number 20, Trey Fisher, splitting wide to the right side with the eye of the formation in the backfield. The look-in pass this time is complete to Trey Fisher at about the 45-yard line. It's going to be about a half yard shy of the first down. It'll be third down and short. Dale, I cannot enter it again. The great support that this Bruce Valetti football team has had from the communities of Bruce Valetti and the surrounding areas, Lorena, Moody, Waco, Hewitt. Uh, I tell you what, we've had sponsors from, from all those towns. That's right, or I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of people upset on it. First and 10, Ingram, quick pitch. Number 42, John Gilbert with the ball. Gilbert across the 40 and finally wrestled down there by Kevin Williams. Williams had some help from Tim Moore. Gain of about five yards on the play. It'll be second down and five. So now we see that uh, Coach Tucker Rackley letting his man have the playing time also. I think the best thing about number 22, Alvin Leonard for Ingram, as far as Coach Tucker Rackley is concerned, he is only a junior and will be back next year. That young man uh, has a lot of potential. He can, uh, he's a game breaker. This time, number 20, Trey Fisher, splitting wide to the right side with the eye formation in the backfield. 
look-in pass this time is complete to Trey Fisher at about the 45-yard line. It's going to be about a half yard shy of the first down. It'll be third down and short. Dale, I cannot enter it again. The great support that this Bruce Valetti football team has had from the communities of Bruce Valetti and the surrounding areas, Lorena, Moody, Waco, Hewitt. Uh, I tell you what, we've had sponsors from, from all those towns uh, as far away as Temple. So uh, the whole bunch is behind them. We're, they're wishing them well. Bobby Stevenson split wide to the left side. And this time the pitch back is to John Gilbert. Gilbert looks as though he has enough for the first down. We'll wait and see where they mark it. He had to get it about the 46-yard line, and he has gotten there. First and 10, taken by the men in the stripes. Ingram with the ball, 155 and running. I tell you what, Dale, I used to referee basketball several years ago. I used to go out with this lady a lot. We played all of our other girls' basketball coaches. There's some good folks out there. I've met a lot of them. I know a lot of them. In fact, uh, a lot of them work at KCE and TV, but I know Kate Bendinning was an uh, alum of Bristol Lady. I don't know what he was a valedictorian or what, but I know he did graduate from Bristol Lady High School. First and 10, Ingram from their own 46-yard line. Thompson wants the pass. Thompson once gets the ball away, and it's complete. Arch Graham hauling the pass in. First and 10 for Ingram for their own 25 yard line from the Bruce Belletti 25. We'll be back for the remainder of the ball game in just a moment. CCC Trenching Service is locally owned and operated by John, Stephen, and Matt Cast, specializing in utility trenching, road boring, and backhoe service in Falls, Bell, and McLennan County areas. They proudly support the Bruce Belletti Eagles in their efforts in the Class A playoffs. CCC Trenching would like to encourage all the citizens of Bruce Belletti to support the Eagles in all their playoff games. CCC Trenching Service would like to say thank you to KCEN-TV for their continuous support of all sports activities. And remember, if you need any trenching or backhoe excavation, call CCC Trenching at 859-5464. Eddie Co-op, serving the area for 35 years. Stop by and check out our large selection of feed and tack, vaccine, seed, grain, farm supplies, and more. For horse supplies, Eddie Co-op is your one-stop place to shop with reasonable prices, convenient location, and friendly service. For your shopping convenience, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Eddie Co-op has your farm supplies, feed, grain, tack, and more. So step by today. Eddie Co-op, Highway 107 and I-35 and Downtown Eddie. Les Taylor and his friendly staff wish the Bruce Valetti Eagles the best of luck in the playoffs. When it comes to staying informed, keeping up with current events, it's nice to know you can count on your hometown newspaper, the Moody Courier. No other newspaper cares about Bruce Valetti like the Moody Courier. For all your news, especially local news, read the Moody Courier. Also in Moody, you can find reasonably priced used furniture and appliances at Gates Used Furniture. You'll be able to save on quality furniture by buying it used from the friendly people at Gates Furniture. So if you need a new appliance or a piece of furniture for your home, save now at Gates Used Furniture in downtown Moody. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete Contractors has been serving the Central Texas area with the finest concrete work for over 25 years. Family owned and operated, Cashin and Wilcox deals in all phases of the concrete business. From patios to foundations, Cashin and Wilcox has the expertise to give you a finished product that is long lasting and of the highest quality. For quality concrete work, call 773-0119. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete. 1717 West Avenue C in Temple. Welcome back to Jack D. Hayes Stadium. Near Austin, Bruce Valetti about to wrap up this game with Ingram. They lead it 42 to six with about a minute left in the ball game. Ingram though threatening to put some points on the board and this pass is gonna be caught. Trey Witt receiving the pass from quarterback Brian Thompson. He's inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal from that point. They are, you have to admire these Ingram Warriors. They're fired up right now. They're calling time out. They're playing for pride, but they want to put some points on the board and uh, end their season on a positive note, which might carry over into next year. You see, I've been noticing uh, number 80. Ingram tonight has been limping a little bit, holding off the field. That young man is Arch Graham. He's just, he is the leading receiver. He's been limping just a little bit tonight, and I just hope that 
There's nothing serious to do with the top athlete. He probably just made it all the sports. And there's a good look from the up the top uh, up the top the press box above where we are where they have a little a little uh, deal bit for the camera feed. Exactly one minute remains in this ball game. Timeout on the field as Ingram collects a play that they want to run at Bruce Valetti. Here they come with number 45. Bobby Stevenson split wide to the left side with the eye formation in the backfield. Hand off to number 33, Gary Wilson. Wilson into the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Ingram Warriors. A fine example of his plain pride, but Henry. Sure is, Dan. Look at number 80, Arch Graham. He's going back home to the field, and that young man is, is really limping. I don't know if he's playing the ankle or, or what, but uh, he has to admire these guys, the bands over here playing as loud as they play for Ingram. And, uh, people are clapping, cheerleaders are hollering, so uh, even though they're down 42 to 12 with the point after still to come, uh, they are playing for pride, and they're doing a good job. Stevenson will split wide to the right on the extra point attempt. Thompson attempting to pass to Trey Witten for the extra point conversion. Failed. It's broken up. And now 54 seconds remain on the clock. And our new score, Bruce Valetti, 42, Ingram, 12. I want to remind you once again, as you get a good look at the scoreboard, it shows 42 to 12, 54 seconds left, that the El Captain will be down in the Bruce Valetti locker room doing a post-game show with Coach Bill Hunter and a couple of Bruce Valetti players. And so be sure and stay tuned for that because uh, it's something I know you'll really enjoy. And there's a look at the little, uh, the other press box on the other side. That's usually for scouts or whatever, but uh, this is a nice facility. It's a well-lit stadium. It's a big stadium. And uh, I can say now that I have been to Hayes Consolidated High School. I didn't even know where Buda, Texas was, but I sure do now. Once again, we would like to congratulate the Bruce Valetti Eagles on their game tonight and all of the Central Texas teams who have made the playoffs, even those who are now eliminated from the playoffs, a fine accomplishment, fine representation of the Central Texas teams this year in the playoffs. I think we'll probably see an old side here, even though it's too little, too late, and it wouldn't hurt to work on. It is indeed an onside kick, and it comes down to number 66, Tim Moore. Moore fielding that onside kick beautifully as he grabs it at about his own 48-yard line. That's where Bruce Belletti will have the ball with 53 seconds. He can look for him to snake, take the snap from center, more or less, and probably just sit on the ball. As they have this ball game well under control and have had it well under control since the beginning of the fourth quarter. Don't get tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Dallas Cowboys right here on Channel 6. They'll catch it be there. I plan on being there. Flags on the play. The play did not get developed. A legal procedure called against the Eagles. 51 seconds. First down, 15. I don't know what was going on, but uh, Vasily Diaz for the Ingram Warriors was uh, kind of going on the field as that play got underway. And this time, Paul Tilly on the keeper around the right side, quickly wrapped up by number 50, James Morris no, for Ingram. Clock running, less than 40 seconds remaining. And probably one play remaining in this ball game. Thanks again to the head coach and athletic director, Tucker Rackley, and his fine staff from Ingram Tomo High School, and also to Coach Bill Hunter from Bruce Lady High School and his staff for, for giving us all the help that we needed. This time, to give up the middle. Timeout called on the play as Ingram calls timeout. That give was to Michael Frosch. And 11 seconds remains on our clock. We'd also like to thank the athletic director from Hayes High School, Bobby Shelton, for 
furnishings, did everything we need. They've been, they've just been over backwards down here, and it's a, a real nice facility. And I tell you one thing, one of the best concession stands I've ever seen. I mean, sausage, burritos, pizza, they did a good job of providing us everything that we needed. There's another look at the, pro at the press box, the Rebels. There's a good look at the Bruce Lady Band, the drill team, and they're getting ready to go out there and uh, congratulate the Eagles on, on a nice win tonight. Paul Tilly takes the snap. Paul Tilly's going to be brought down for a loss in the backfield. But that will be the ball game. Three, two, one. As you take a look at the clock, the clock expires here at Jackson Hayes Stadium. And a victorious bunch. Bruce Valletti Eagles on the field as they have been victorious in my district play over the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors. Our final score tonight. Bruceville, Eddie, 42, ink from 12, and in just a moment, we'll be down to talk with Coach Bill Hunter and a couple of the... Bruceville. Bruceville removes good and odors for two kinds of cleaning.